The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Thursday, the 18th of April. We're looking at the E Mini right now, trying its best to get to the 200 pre moving average of 5,069. There's a peak C1, C2. Remember, we were talking about that in the Dow, peak C1, C2, how they can act like a D, but we also have to follow it closely because. The closer it remains near that, it's going to try to retest it a couple of times. All right, let's get back to the story. And the story is that the Dow is acting much better than the general uh, market itself. Look here, this is the Dow. I'll go there immediately. Mm. The Dow is up 180 points. Uh, it, it's nice to see a green candle. Look at this. Since it started, has moved down from right there, the doji candle. Well, let's go to the green candle from the 4th of April. The Dow was trading with a high of 30,040. This this could be the first day with the green candle. Wouldn't that be nice, huh? Um, and uh, it's been down. We, we're looking at this as a sell mode. And now I haven't opened this up to show you something very interesting. Look here. So there's this area, this containment area. We're right at the, the top part of this whole area. The bottom part goes to 37,132. Just in the measurement and this particular pattern, this particular technique that I use, that's the area that is a containment area you have in the, I'll go to this, uh, show my subscribers every day. Um, you have Chapwave, a couple of Chapwave inside wedge target support lines that have hit. Looks like a fan. And what happened is it went below the fan three times, actually once, two, three, four times, and now it's starting to hold. And I've got a slightly different uh, projection in this that says the level of support, not going all the way down to 37,122, was this low here. And I was spending a little time on the Dow only because uh, we're looking at the Dow starting its move to the downside on the 18th of April and um, most sorry, 18th of April on the 21st of March. So it was kind of early to the game. And then one by one, we waited for the nine period moving averages to cross negative. And only three days ago, did the SMHs turn negative. And boy, are they, are they weak? I mean, the SMHs are down almost three right now from yesterday's big move down. All right. So that says that this is an area based on this, these patterns that I use, Chapman Wave methodology, of a support level. But there's a huge set of resistance levels. There's a bunch of support levels. Let me show you. This is what I showed subscribers this morning. In fact, here's the newsletter right here. This is what I said. Where did it go? Right there. So this is what I said to subscribers. I always, every day, I give it closed down, minus 45 at 37,753, and then I go on to talk about what's going on. And then I said there's a cluster. Look, this is Chapman Wave automated support levels right there. That's in the daily chart. Look at the cluster of support levels, automated support levels based on the MACD and the stochastic right here. So at any moment, we should be able to have a pretty decent bounce. I'm anticipating some kind of a bounce. How it closes and how it goes into Friday's close is going to be really important. So this is the cluster formation. All right, let's get move this away. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so... In the meantime, back at the ranch, so now the Dow, the Dow is now up 212. Have we got a nice spike in the futures? Yep, I think we did. Go to that. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so it went right to the 200 period moving average. I'm calling this a potential. Look, this could be a brand new A, and that could be D slash B. And I've got the alternate count only because I need some proof. Look, the stochastic still not over 80%. The MAGD is good. The nine period moving average did cross positive. I need sustainability. But now I can say that the five minute chart has gone to a leg B. And the burst to the upside after all these 
very mild, but pullbacks that we've seen says if it can break to a certain level, and in that case, 5,081, we're at 5,069, is the 200 period exponential moving average in the 10 minute chart. So you, you really have to break 5,074. That's the five minute 200 period. Look at that resistance, this is a magnificent resistance uh, line. You don't have to do anything. You just put it on your chart and watch it. And if it takes out 5,074, goes to 5,076, then there's a good chance you can, the next move up will be 5,081. But the selling pressure just keeps coming in. And my suspicion is that the selling pressure is, and let's go through these one at a time here. Yeah? I'm going to go backwards. Usually I do bonds last. The TLT is down 25 cents at 89.03. Doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is a big deal because yesterday's nice move up. Days young, anything can happen. Economic news could come out, anything could happen. But it needs to get as quickly as possible for the first time in a while to test the pink nine period moving average of 89.88. Hasn't done it yet. All right. So, with that said, I, I said to Mike earlier when he called to Tommy's show that I would look at Harmony. He wanted a Harmony Gold. He wanted a, a, a picture that said to him, I'm in at a very good price. I want to keep it as long as possible. Where would it be that I have to start getting nervous that it could give back a huge chunk? It's already done a leg D in the monthly chart. It's already done an alternate count F slash B in the, uh, in the weekly chart because this low right here, the week of, uh, I think it was January. Yeah, January the 19th had a low of 540 Then it ran up nicely for peak E and then pulled back. And what did it do? It went to 5.41 the week of the 16th of Feb. Retested at 5.41 the week of the 1st of March. And now it's moved up sharply. So that's a little double bottom low that is uh, important to recognize. And even more important is that the account, I'm, I'm calling it an F for now. But really, it has an alternate count because everything is so positive. The stochastic's at 90%. So what I'm just... I'll do a little more work on it. But what I wanted to talk about, oh, I should do that tomorrow. This here, you see, when you go from a peak D and within three bars you make a higher high, that automatically goes to an E. But I like to say, think of it as an E slash A. But if you take out the low that comes after that, really takes out um, the low that was the one that started that leg E and it did that by going to the low of 7 21 on the 19th, I always put this in. I said, okay, if this is going to fail, this is what's called Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart. Why? Because the instant restart is when you go from D in three bars, you go to another high, gives you E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and then a D. But if this is the case, if Harmony H HMY stalls, and starts to trade under 840 and then goes to 820 over the next week. I'm going to give it seven trading days. That takes us into, I think, the following Monday. That's what I really want, the following Monday. Then I have to say, it looks very good, but it's becoming vulnerable. But that weekly chart will still be very strong, as is, is the monthly. So to give you a, a get out point, I'll do that when we return because a number of people have asked me about what would you do if gold started to fail. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, let's just make it as easy as possible. Just, you don't want to overdo the thinking here, just on a purely speculative level. I would say that if Harmony at any point in the next, I think you're looking longer term, if at any point over the going into May, April, May, uh, if it starts to trade under 750, um, that's where I would just take a little bit off. Now, I prefer to look at it another way and say, um, on the way up, why not have a, a, some part of it have just a, um, a running stop loss? It's just best to do that way. And all I would do is I would say, I would I would cover um, if it goes to twelve fifty or it, it start to go to ten fifty, then I'd have a, a trading stop just so that you can take a little bit off to reward yourself. I'd rather do it that way than to just suddenly get out of everything. So I would prefer to see you have a trading stop, make it a a two points trading stop, that's the best way. But if at any point in the next two, three weeks, it breaks under 750, 730 key support, let's give me a call. Let's look at it together. I don't want you to get out of a position you've got in so beautifully that has the potential to move higher. Okay, got that out the way. Next question is, um, can we look at Hood? Yep, Robin Hood, H-O-O-D. Oh, I typed it in the wrong place. Typed in there. Let's look at Robin Hood. Now, did we get a D in the in the one minute? Uh, was that the one minute? I'll talk about that. So Robin Hood's a fantastic move. 681 was the low back in June of 2022. 85 round number all-time high was August of 2021. And it's come back and it's had a fabulous move up. Oh, I forgot to type that in. And maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Little double top here. 28.55, 28.54, 28 28.55, two-bar reversal, 27th of March to the 28th, uh, 28, did I say 28? Why did I say 28? 20, 20.55, oh, the date, oh, 20.55 on the um, 27th, 
and 28.54. So 28.55 was the high. Then you got a chapter wave two bar reversal. Always be really careful of that. So 20, let me put it in 20.55. All right, that was on the 28th. So that's, uh, did I say April or March? It has to be March, right? Uh, 20. All right, so now, oh, that was 27th. 28th was, was the two-bar reversal. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, I would have patience. I think it's really important to, um, in this particular environment, but if you really like Robinhood and you haven't had any, you haven't got any position yet, at 1722, I can see it filling the 16 to 15 area over the next two weeks. Is it, I, I might be wrong because you could turn at any point, but the nine period moving average has expanded under the 14. It'll be a, it'll be a work in progress if it does that. So I'm just going to say to you, um, now, I don't know if you use options. If you use options, that's one thing. I would go out. I'd just go far out with the uh, um, I get closer to in the money, but not in the money. I get it's at seventeen twenty-two. I get a seventeen. If you can get a seventeen fifty option and go out to what is this? April, May. Ah, go to get a monthly. Go to the uh, the third Friday of May, which is the seventeenth. Just thinking of it along those lines. But in the meantime, I want to see a pullback into the sixteen to 15 area, and that's where I'm going to make a decision for subscribers. We, we missed getting in before. I spoke about it, spoke about it, didn't do it. Okay, so with that said, I hope I helped you there. Um, but I, what I wanted to say is you could have started an option position realizing that it's going to shrink. But if you're looking out to May, I'd probably even say you could do it June if you're looking out longer term because I think Robin Hood is going to go to higher highs. I think Robin Hood uh, has the potential to get into the 25, 30 area, but it might be a little later uh, this year. Let's just look at BTC. I was asked about that. Yeah, Bitcoin, I said, I think it's starting to make, it's got to hold the support level. And if it doesn't, and it closes under 59,000 59, at any point, be careful. Right now, it's in that stage that says, I've taken out the, the rectangle low. And that's not a B. This I, this would normally be a B, but you've got to say that was the high, 75,185. So then that's that's an A, but that's also an A. On the way down, we go to lowercase A, B, C. Now you've got your notation. The uh, stochastic is way down to 13%. That's very weak. On balance volume, very weak. MACD, very weak. Relative strength, very weak. The uh, nine period moving average under the 14, very weak. So I'm going to suggest to you that it's digesting gains. It looks a little bit like Microsoft. Look at this, Microsoft, right here. Microsoft, there it is. Look at that. What a pullback, huh? We've been anticipating that. We are long from 338. We took a an, an little bit off. We've had some trading positions, et cetera, but done nothing. I said, I'd like to short it, but I don't want to short something real long. Uh, 430.82 was the... Uh, uh, All-time high, made a double top there, made a cup formation. The right side was much weaker, and it took out the rectangle. And it's doing it quite conservatively. Uh, I, I would just say um, this is a warning, and that's also weakening the Dow. So you've got some stocks that are acting very nicely in the Dow and some stocks that are very weak. So I'm just going to say that as far as uh, – yeah, so as far as the um, – just wanted to check on my messages there. Uh, Microsoft is concerned. This is another one in the weekly chart, peak C1, C2, acting like a D. Huh. I, I just be careful with some of these that have had spectacular moves. Now let me just do this because I was asked, could you look go back to your, your e-mini chart? Did it get to the D? Yeah, there it is. So you got to a D and now you still look at the magnet of this 200 period moving average. Very nice positioning there. Oh, oh I just saw... That's a warning sign for me that I better, as soon as I'm finished here, yeah, I better shut down and restart just to get everything refreshed. But look at the weekly, the week, sorry, look at the five minute chart. Remember, I like to look at the one, five, and 10 as daily, weekly, monthly charts. Look how it's holding. Look, the nine period moving average is still good. I, I have to tell you, I we are so oversold in some of these areas that they, they should be a decent bounce. I would say 10.55. 10.50 in the e-mini is 
not a decent bounce, it's kind of pathetic, but it could increase over the period of day. The longer that the market holds up, the greater the chances are that buying will come in a little later in the day. Yes, you've got some stock acting very poorly, uh, but at the same time, uh, the ones that are, are running are, could really help the market. Uh, BTC, yes, is moving up. A uh, coin is moving up. Okay, coin. Remember, that was the laggard. Oh, the wrong place. Sorry. There we go. Daily chart. C O N. Three coins in the fountain. Okay, C O I N. Yeah, it's moving up. But that peak G in the um, daily chart says that the stochastic, everything's weak. It could bounce. It could bounce even to 232. It's trading at 224 right now, up 10. But I wouldn't be surprised if you see this dreaded H pattern. Oh, I'll talk about that when we return. This is a pattern you should be very uh, aware of in this environment until it can reverse. I'll be back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Information Tower. Dow's up 218. S&P's up. Oh, thank you. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully.
Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. So I was asked about CLSK, um, and CLSK is Clean Spark Inc. Data centers run on low carbon power, support Bitcoin. Um, made a peak D in the day, and the uh, made this cup formation. We're talking about that, and ran up to a, P, a second peak D right there in the 24s. Pulls back sharply to the 14s. I would say, you remember, I said there's a little bit of vulnerability there. Well, 24 down to 14, I'd say that's vulnerable. Now it's having two bars of green. Yesterday, a nicer one today, up $1.37 at $16.29. Question is, just to look about, it started an uptrend. Yes, it's starting an uptrend, but I haven't got a confirmation in the daily chart yet that it's an uptrend that has sustainability because there's that gap at 18, um, and it's trading at 16.22 right now. But because you are, and remember, this is almost like the rectangle uh, formation that went underneath the base of support. But look what it did. It held so nicely. The stochastics at 8%, 8.8%. 8 the, the on balance volume did make a nice V shaped turnaround with price. I like that. The histogram of the MACD is moving up. So, uh, uh, Piki, I'm going to suggest this because you have a, a whole completely different way of looking at markets. You're prepared to hold stocks for forever if you like them. Um, and in this particular case, it's already got a peak E in the weekly. It's already got a peak, a leg E could be a peak E in the in the monthly chart. But as a trade that says the chances are will be very strong that the trade could become an intermediate term position, I'm going to suggest that although I I still see weakness to it, the concerted effort that it's made in making this cup formation and remember this is purely visual this is not mathematical this is visual you got your quarto that's the left side quarter semicircle and now you're starting the right side i'm going to say why don't you take a small position and i can't remember i think this is one you already have but you wanted to add to but whatever it is take a small position here at eight uh at eight sixteen point oh nine but this one, you do have to have a stop. I know sometimes you're not prepared to have the stop because you really think it's going to go higher and you turn out to be right, but you're prepared to watch it go down and then go up. But I'm just saying, to, I would have, in this case, it would be because it's a smallish uh, position, a starter position to see if it's able to get to by a week from today, or no, a week from maybe next Tuesday or Wednesday, if it's managed to get above 1673, uh, today's high 1637. If it can get above 1673, then it's going to go one peak at a time until it gets to that 18 level. So start your position here. But this one, I'd have a split stop. I'd have a, a stop of one point, but I know that you're prepared to have more. And then I'd see how it tests the low that was made. If it closes under this low, right here, the low of the 16th, which is at 14.18. You know what? It's a, it's a big percentage, but I know that this is a position that has, if if it really works, data centers run on low carbon power. I think this is going to be needed. I mean, the energy. When you think of air conditioning, all that, and all the blackouts we often have in the uh, summertime, and then you're still going to have millions of people going on the grid because they want to charge their cars. I don't know what's going to happen to the electric. Uh, situation. So maybe that's in an area of positivity for the longer term. But start your position here. This position would have a split one point stop and another part that says under $14, I'm out. Right? But here's the thing if you're in it and it starts to get to 1673, then I would still keep the original, the, 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 the stop under 14. But this other one, I just raise it a little bit. Like for every 10 cents up, I would raise it 2 cents or so. Just because you want a trading stop. Because if this fails and that pink 9 period moving average does not cross green, there's a really good chance it's going to the 13s. So with that said, start your positions. But be very careful because it is in a downtrend. All right, next question was, oh, you want me to look again? Sure, well, okay. So this is a tough one for me because now I'm looking at the nine period moving average so positive in the five minute chart of the E-mini and it's already in leg C. 
I mean, the whole thing was to be able to get in on that close right there and stay in that position green in the one-minute chart, and you just walk in the nine-period moving average. Now the E-mini is up at 17. I think it's going to be a very nice day today, but at the same time, all those uh, 914s that have turned negative, it'll take a lot more than this to get them positive. So this is a very needed bounce in the market, and I suspect it is going to last. It's only an A in the 10-minute chart. Uh, for 5,081. Remember, we need to get above the 200-period moving average in the five-minute chart to activate the 5,081 200-period moving average in the 10-minute E-mini chart. That's at 5,081, and I think we're going to get there quite quickly. All right, with that said, first thing, uh, VICR, VICR, Vicar. That's the old Vicar. Down in Essex. Um, let's go and see Vicar. Uh, this is Vicor Corporation uh, high performance power modules for networks. Yeah, you see, the problem is it's not working in all these situations. It had a 35 round number low. It went right to the 200 period moving average back in February in the 47s. Plummets down to 35. I would call that a sharp move down. Tries to rally again to the 38 level, and now it's down to 34. No, this one doesn't look good at all. This one is a problem. I, 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 no, I, I, I have to say off this one, I, I can only see the upside if for a week you've got the weekly chart closing above 37.20. Then let's look at it and say, wow, now what can it do? But up until then, it's just, it's, it's not good. Lower lows and lower highs. Sorry. Uh, next one was... Okay, Moz. Moz is mosaic. Mosaic. Okay. Oh man, you know I had this all notated. Okay, the mosaic company phosphates, potash, crop nutrients uh, made a, a high. All, it wasn't an all-time high because that really goes back. I remember this very well from way back. Yeah, well, look, back in 2011, it was. Uh, at about 88, comes down, has a little bit of a pullback to the 8 level, and then runs up to uh, just under 80, and now it's back down to 30. This is a tough one for me because um, the DBA has just been spectacular, but that has grains, it has other commodities, it has, it even has cocoa. And cocoa, which is finally, oh, DBA has finally got to this new leg D. Let's look at CC just as we go into the break. And then I'll get back. Yeah, and there it is. I'll turn it count. We've got a new high in um, CC. That's Coco. All right, let's get back. All right, I'll do a little work on the studio of the break. And we'll say, where is the support there? Right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, 
giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, the Mosaic, uh, the Mosaic company is looking at MOS as a symbol, trading at 30.82, up 53 cents after Chapman Wave Red, very tiny red um, Roman candle, inverted Roman candle, so it's holding this all the way through. I don't know how. Let me look at the 120-minute chart. Because if it holds it for 90 minutes above that midpoint, which is doing right now, yeah, this is good. Okay. So that just says, I don't know if you're in it. It's got. It's just been making lower lows and lower highs, but it could bounce. And if you're prepared to play, treat it first as a trade and then maybe as a position because it's already made peak A, peak B. Whoa, look at that. One bar rest and a new high, 32.54. Let's see if it goes a penny higher. Oh, oh, wow! This is a this is a, I, one of the quickest Chapman wave moves you can have from a, a, a buy starting signal. Look, here's your peak A in the weekly. A, one bar rest, and it makes a fractional new high. B, one bar rest makes a fractional new high. C, then it has one bar rest, fraction new high, continuing for another uh, a week. So that's out of, remember, I used to call this the seven wave form because it took seven waves to, to make uh, a peak D. Eighth, the eighth, eighth bar would be down. And that just says that um, the shortest you can do it is within uh, up, down, up, down, up, down is within seven sessions. So look at this. From the starting point, it went peak A. One bar S, peak B, one bar S, peak C, one bar S. Then it starts leg D. So it's one of the shortest, and I always say the quicker you get to a D and not very much movement, the quicker you can expect some kind of a pullback. Not a major sell signal, but at least, wow, this is a pretty big sell-off from the uh, 30, uh, 32s down to 29s and it's trading right now at 30.78. So that just says to me it's not ready for prime time. It will be ready for prime time. If it takes no more than one bar rest, and next week is a green bar tread, treading water in the 34s, eh, 30, 32, sorry, 32 30s. That'll be good. Okay, so what would you, what would you do? Um, I'm just going to say that this is, a, this is not even a starter position. This is just a feeler position. If you want, because you, you, you're rotating through all these different sectors. If the semiconductors take a breather, you've got to find other sectors that will take its place. Money is always finding the, the, the best possible uh, outcomes. So starter position at 30.83 is really just a small starter position. And at 30.83, you could even have a stop underneath the low that was made yesterday, which is at 30. 30.94, I'd make it 30.70. Uh, I'd give it a, just over a dollar right now, I think, for a $30, because you're expecting, you're expecting, uh, I'm not expecting anything, but I am saying that if it can get you the 31.70, 32.20 area by next 
Tuesday or Wednesday or even Thursday without taking out this low. That's the start of a nice move, even if it's just a bounce. Okay, so I hope that helps you. Start a position with, with I'd even call it a trading stop. Right? Next thing we want to look at here is, oh, um, I, did I mention this? So I mentioned it in Tommy's show when I, I, I subbed for him this morning. Uh, Netflix has earnings coming out today. It's trading up four and a half at 618.18. It had a round number, all-time high, 639.00 on the 8th of April. Let's see what happens. Is, is it going to spiral right through? Is it going to go to 650? It's at 618 right now. Or is it going to stall? Or is it going to break down? I have no idea. But the nine-period moving average for the last two days did go negative, And it got the round number. So I'm going to be watching this very closely. There's absolutely the, the daily chart is starting to weaken a lot technically, but the monthly chart, weekly chart looks fabulous uh, as does the monthly. So it could be just a minor breather that it takes. All right, I wanted to get that out of the way. Now I keep looking at this because I'm sitting here not doing anything, but look at what a nice trade that would have been. Look from the crossover, the nine period moving average at about just as my show was starting. God, I almost did it. And I thought, ah, oh, it'll mess me up in the show. Um, and that was at five, five, the five, six, 50, 60 area. And here we are at 5083, having gone to a leg E, and now it's an F, calling an F for now, in the one minute chart. And you've got your D in the five minute chart. That's what we're waiting for. Isn't that interesting? I, this is live. I was showing it to you as we were doing the show that the nine year moving average. Cross positive in the five minute chart, it went over the 200, and I said it should try to tackle the 50 81 level. It went above it, and this is only a leg A in the 10 minute chart. Oh, this is going to be an interesting day, isn't it? Um, all right, so in the meantime, back at the ranch, let's just go to this. I had another question uh, to short this one. <clears throat> Okay, oh, that's all talking about something else. Okay, so question came in. Where was it? I saw it somewhere. Uh, give me a second here before the break comes. I just want to check my emails. Uh, I, why am I not updating in this particular? Whoa, something's wrong there. Okay, I got it. Uh, could I look at the FXI. Okay, FXI is the China large cap ETF. FXI. Mm -mm. Yeah, little bounce coming up. So what I wanted to say is that the, the low that was made, I should put that in here. The low that was made at 20.86 20 on the week of the 26th of January. 20.86, 26th of January. 20.86124. Yeah, that low is still holding well. And for the very first time on a weekly basis, uh, since way back in, I think it was August of last year, up in the 28th, and it's gone down to 20.86, the nine period moving average is flipped positive in the weekly. But I have to wait for tomorrow at four o'clock. To be able to confirm that monthly still looks horrible, but we had a test. It went 20.87 on the in October of 2022, runs up to the uh, 33s, comes all the way back, and it takes out that low by one point to 20.86, and that was in January. And now look at this. This is start of a gray A. That was an A failure, so it gets an A minus because it took out the initial low by one point, and now this is an A right here. Okay, so what am I looking at? I'm looking at um, FXI having key support in the 2350 area. It's trading at 2409 right now. And I shouldn't say major. This is daily support between 2330 and 23. <clears throat> and if it's able to break above the 200-period uh, exponential moving average of 25.03 in the next, well, by the end of April. That'll be a very good sign. That'll say, ah, it can keep running for a while longer, uh, but the monthly chart looks just horrible. But the technicals were slightly improving as it pulled back. So there's a positive divergence. Okay, so the question came in. Uh, oh, oil. 
So oil's pulling back a little bit. Oh, now it's yeah, down 33 cents. So oil might have made a short-term top at a peak D in the daily, but it's also going to be a peak D in the weekly under the previous one. That says oil should be coming down. That should help the market. I'll be back in a moment. That's what Chapman Tiger Greenish is all. Tigers, we have some exciting news. Live Trading Fridays are here. Join Larry Pesavento every second and fourth Friday of the month, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern time, as he places short-term trades and gives insights into his strategies. That's right, that means the first Live Trading Fridays event starts this Friday, April 12th. Make sure to sign up so you don't miss the potential for huge gains. If you've attended Larry's stellar webinars before, you'll be familiar with the Live Trading portion. Live Trading Fridays will be strictly this portion. That's three hours of pure trading. All trade positions will be communicated clearly, and all questions will be answered in a timely fashion during these live events. When signing up, make sure to save $50 by using code LARRYLIVE at checkout. This code is valid only for this month, and the discount stays with you for as long as you're a subscriber to the service. So don't delay. Sign up, sit back, and follow Larry Pesavento as he places trades live. See you there, Tigers. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, so Wyoming Highway, W-Y-O-H-W-Y. -W -Y. Basil, could you review how you begin transferring price objectives, say, up from a 10-minute chart? Uh, to an hourly and when is it more clear than a two-click session has emerged so I, I obviously don't have time right now I'll do it tomorrow's technical Friday I'll do some of it tomorrow but um, I, you know I've covered that a lot in my webinars <clears throat> but I, I'll try to do as much as I can but just showing you right now <clears throat> look how this walking the nine period moving average in the one minute chart <clears throat> Gave you a peak A, B, C, and then a D in the in the five minute chart. Look, this is only a leg A in the ten minute chart. Either it says this is fantastic because we're still going to have a, a B, a C, and a D by four o'clock this afternoon, or it says, uh oh, single leg A up. Be careful. So you have to go one step at a time. But the stochastic in the five minute chart at ninety point fifty nine, really good, and the nine is way over the fourteen, and the price is way over the nine, and it's used as 200 period moving average. Look how it was resistance, and then now it's support. So 5074 is your key support in the short term based on the five minute chart, then 572 in the in the one minute chart, 
And in 581, 5081 in the 10 minute chart, that's the way I look at it. But the further away you get from each, the better it is. So a two click session, if I was, uh, if I really did this click somewhere over here, that would have been a one click and I would have just watched everything. And if I and was one click with maybe one position, that's one thing, but one click with two positions or three, then I would at any, this like this peak D right here, I'd raise the stop to say one of them should be taking profits. But I just hold it. There's nothing to do now. You just sit back for the rest of the day and let it tell you. And you have a trading stop. Um, and then at a certain point between 3.30 and 4, if it's still acting really well, you try to ride it into the close. That's the question. But I'll try to do more of it tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned, folks. Steve's coming up. Great programming today. And I do think that this bounce that I've anticipated